up, ladies and gentlemen? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Blitz Gotti. You already know what it is. This video right here, man. I'm, I'm discussing this whole Fabio Foreman, you know, me saga, and just how dude just completely loud on man, half a platform. So we about to get into it. It's your boy Bullis Gotti, man. You already know what it is. We about to get into how dude set up on man half and just loud. And then he tried to like defame a nigga character when a dude set you and put you in position, you know. They said had to put him in position. He did it out of the kindness of his heart, really and truly, because he didn't want to sign, dude. But had the traps right on the sand, had to get that. Ran down on them niggas with a flip back. You ain't never seen on a nigga live like that. I was still getting sex back. Had to fuck around getting them packs back. Boy Bullets Gotti, so let's get it to it. Fabio Foreman did an interview with Mad Five. I just was why I watched it. And I found something that disturbed me a little bit and, and really made me feel some type of way. So y'all know about the whole thing with Fabio. I did a video previously about the whole deal and with Fabio signing with, with Mace, right? What a lot of people don't understand is, right? JD, D said Fabio Foreman was a group at one point, right? Mace wanted to sign D Sav and JD. He never wanted to sign Fabio, right? Fabio was like what you call a package deal. He came with the package, right? And Mace, even though they they effed up Mace money, they 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 really effed up his money. So them effing up, fucking up Mace's money. You know what I'm saying? And then leaving JD and D Sab and Fabio stuck because Fabio previously before he signed with Mace, right? With Rich Fish. Before he signed with Rich Fish and Mace took him as an artist. Before that, he was with the conglomerate, Spliff Star. He was Spliff Star artist. You know, and they was doing the 900 farm, they, the farmer side shit. Him, Gino, Man, Dana, and, and Eat the Connect and all them, right? They was doing the they foreign side shit. It didn't go through, you know what I'm saying? And it was back to square one. So, Fabio Foreman jumping on the bandwagon of the young niggas because he's older than JD and D. Sab. He jumped on their bandwagon, jumped on records with them, and Mace liked it, JD. And he wanted to sign JD and D Sav. So when the situation came to him to sign them, they messed up his money. Now, Mace not being a petty dude, he helped out Fabio. You know what I'm saying? But in the beginning, he gave them all three of them five thousand dollars each, right? What people keep trying to shit on Mace. I saw Q Butter and all them. I don't got no it's shout out to Q Butter, you know what I'm saying? I don't got a problem with Q Butter. But I just felt like math and all them was being real biased and they was letting Fabio still run with this narrative that Mace did him dirty and and and, and he got no dogs. You know what I'm saying? What Mace did, a lot of these other dudes wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? I tell people all the time, man, it's only a few New York City rappers that really helped out, you know. A lot of artists. 50 Cent, Mace, and Nas. Say what you want, but when Nas co-signed Davies, he helped out Davies. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And with him being the co-sign of Davies, Davies got his deal with Def Jam. You know? And 50 artists, he have co-signed him put on over the years and then you got mace you know him helping out eve and nelly and you know many others you know mace has really 
been the type of dude, man, that he 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 see talent and he put talent on. And the thing that gets me about Fabio is that he continues to keep acting like Mace did him dirty. Mace don't take money from you. Mace get his money from the labels. He set that on million dollars worth of game. But Fabio continues to keep lying and slandering this man when he know that's not what happened. When he know that he signed the contract and the contract was the contract. Now, whatever you did with your money, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to get high, buy bulletproof trucks and chains and all the bullshit he was doing with the money. That's on him. But what people don't understand is it's not Mace's fault. Mace put him on. You know what I'm saying? Mace took him, get, get him styled up, all that took him. Mate, you know what I'm saying? Did everything he could with him. You know what I'm saying? Worked with him. You know what I'm saying? Showed him the game. You know what I'm saying? And then took him to Epic and got him the deal that he got him at Columbia. So he got him a deal at Columbia. Got him signed and all that. Helped out, homie. Now, the problem with Fabio is he continues to go on these platforms and keep trying to like diminish mace try to make it seem like mace was a shyster and he did him dirty how a nigga did you dirty when a nigga when, when you had the best i'm gonna keep it real what mace did for him a lot of dudes wouldn't do a lot of these cats is not taking like like a dude like a jim jones or Mano. these dudes not taking dudes up to them office to get him a deal. Like the respect that Mace, Mace ain't dropped an album since 2004. And he still get respect in them offices. You know what I'm saying? So just let alone that him going to them offices to get you a deal. To shop you a deal. And then after he shot him a deal. Him being inconsiderate and not looking at it on some like, yo, this nigga really helped my career. Because he really did help his career. You know, Fabio, let's keep it real. Fabio was an artist that nobody really was checking for. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just keep it real, man. Like, during the time, he came out the same time Bobby and Rowdy came out. But nobody supported. Nobody was checking for him. So, if dudes in Brooklyn ain't even want to put him on, and then he had to go to a Harlem dude like Mace... To get a deal. And he helped them get a deal. Helped them as an artist. You know what I'm saying? But he continued to. The disrespect dude. You know when he does his interviews. Which it don't make no sense to me. That you continue to keep pushing the narrative. The narrative is just crazy. And a lot of dudes ain't want. like And, and, and Mecca was trying to address it. But they kept cutting Mecca off because it was on, on some bias shit. I felt like it was bias. I felt like dudes was being biased up there for whatever reason. They should have not been biased because Mace brought the receipts. Mace brought the receipts. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he brought any receipts when he went and did this interview with Math. You know what I'm saying? Mace really brought the receipts up there and was like, yo, listen, hold up, man. You ain't gonna lie on my reputation. You know what I'm saying? And that's what homie was doing when he went up there on the interview that he tried to continue to keep pushing his narrative that Mace did him wrong. That Mace was stealing money from him or whatever he wanna make it seem like. But Mace was the one that was getting them deals for you. Shopping you to the label. And you able to get a deal just off of the strength of who's co-signing you. Mace could co-sign any artist. He didn't have to he didn't have to help Fabio because of what they did running off with the money. So he really didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? Because they did run off with the money. You know what I'm saying? They did run off with the money. But what Mace did was he said, you know what? I I take that L. I'ma still help this kid out.
I'm going to still help him. Because ain't nobody else is helping him. And that's what he did. Now, like May said, man, when you around greatness, you can become greatness. And you trying to shit on Mace and saying, yo, Mace and me is cool, but how you cool and you keep trying to defame his credit, his 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 name and his reputation. You know what I'm saying? This is the dude that that found Nelly, man. Him and Kuda found Nelly and, and look how much money they made off of off of that. You ain't never heard Nelly say, yo, Mace did me dirty. Eve, he got Eve in the industry. You know what I'm saying? But it's like people, Kanye, he helped out Kanye. Kanye tell you his first play, placement was through Mace. So Mace is the type of dude that he helps out a lot of dudes, man. Like Pharrell, you know what I'm saying? Pharrell know that the first dude he worked with when it came to first big album placement even though they had did SWV, but his like his first like not under Teddy Riley, but just the Neptunes, his first big placement was being on Mace album Harlem World with looking at me. You know, so Mace always put on a lot of put on a lot of talent, whether it was just Blaze, whoever you name. So when Fabio went up there on on, on old boy platform and said what he said, man. I felt like that was that was some corn bullshit, man. I felt like Fabio exposed himself for being a true corn bull because any real nigga know, man, if a nigga put me in position to change my life, to get me out of my living circumstances in the hood, you know what I'm saying? And I'm fresh out the hood, and this nigga took me shopping, let me stay, let me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Let me come to his crib, help me out, did everything that I need to do, and you shitting on him? That's crazy to me, man, because Mace didn't have to help out Fabio. Just off of, like I said, off of the strength of them running off of his money. He didn't have to because Fabio wasn't the artist that he wanted, the artist that he said it. Newest time, he said the artist that I wanted was JD and D Sab. But like I said, they came with him. He don't even tell a story because nigga, you took JD and D Sab spotlight because they was younger than Fabio. Mace was gunning for JD. You know what I'm saying? And look what Fabio did to JD. You know what I'm saying? JD is now in jail where he could have had a successful career. Boy didn't even set it out for him. What is this dude talking about jewelry and buying bulletproof trucks and all that? Like, come on, man. So you got money. You got you got basically a good deal and you didn't get shafted. You didn't have to go through a middleman. You go straight through the to the to the to the connect, which is Columbia. And Mace get his money from Columbia, just like you get your money. But a lot of these dudes be ungrateful. A lot of these dudes be cornballs, and a lot of these dudes be suckers. That's why Fabio Career is not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? He can't make another City of Gods or another Big Drip. You know what I'm saying? It's like he tried with the Meek record, but the Meek record ain't doing so good. Just drop a, a album, whatever, album mixtape, that shit ain't doing that good. You know what I'm saying? Lukewarm. But like I said, man. All that hate that he 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 spewed out there, and it's not even hate, it's just you know what I mean? He know what he's supposed to do, man. He know he was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that man didn't have to do nothing for him. You know what I'm saying? He ain't had to do nothing for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, let him talk about, like, 
how he was signed a split star and busted them and they ain't did nothing with him. He went to Mace. Mace got the ball rolling, got him to the label. Boom, he got signed. But, you know, makes me bug up, man. You know what I mean? And you not a and you not a old man. You a you a you not a young man. You a older. You know you older. You know what I'm saying? You you thirty three. Nigga about to be thirty four. So you not a young man. Talking the way you talking, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. I just wanted to do a video on that. I didn't like how Mav Hoffa and them was being biased and allowing you know Fabio to push the narrative and shit went unchecked because at the end of the day he was wrong it's not on mace it's him you know what i'm saying but i get it niggas wanna you know these niggas gonna be biased to who they gonna be biased to so it is what it is